about to like type out an answer and then I'm like, I'm just going to make a video because that's actually going to go faster. Um, and it can help a lot more people if we, you know, make a video about it. So the question was, what are annuities? And um, like when you're prepping for the exam, when it comes to an annuities, you mostly want to understand the definitions. So if you understand what an annuitant is, um, what annuitization is, the, you know, the, the pay in period and the, um, I'm trying to think of like, I'm trying to think of the, the, the best way of like talking about annuities. Well, let me just talk about annuities instead of thinking about the exact things you want to understand for the exam. With annuities, they are the, it is the, it is the opposite of life insurance. So life insurance says, I'm worried that I'm going to die soon. I'm worried that I'll die before I'm able to save money so that my family will be okay if I, if I die. So life insurance is a worry that you're going to die too soon. Annuities, on the other hand, are a concern. I might live too long. I'm going to live beyond my money. I'm going to live past my money. <laughs> hey, sweetie. <laughs> you're so sweet. Hi from Illinois, David Hathaway. Hello. <laughs> Annuities are the worry that you are going to live too long. So if you save, you know, a certain amount of money, you say like, okay, I'm probably going to live till I'm like 80 years old and you save money so that you can live until you're 80 and then the money runs out. What do you do? Like you're still alive. Do you have to get a job? And that's what an annuity is for. An annuity is the worry of living too long, the worry of living beyond your money. If you know anything about a 401k, like if you have a job and you've gotten a 401k, that's basically what an annuity is, is you are saving money now, you're putting it into an account and it has restrictions on it. Like you're not supposed to take the money back out. Um, you're supposed to leave the money in there. You have restrictions about when, what, what, how long do you have to leave it in there? You have to leave it in there till you're 59 and a half before you take it out. And the benefits of putting the money into this account is that you're avoiding taxes right now. You're not paying any taxes on this money and you're letting it grow interest. So you're taking tax-free money and letting it grow in this account. And that's what a 401k, that's what an annuity is doing. And then you have to leave it in there though in order to continue to receive the benefits of being you know, tax-free and yet also growing interest at the same time the rules to that are that you have to keep the money in there and you're not allowed to touch it before a certain time. Now there's annuities for many different reasons, but if we just think about retirement as one of the reasons, but um, another reason for an annuity could be like a college education. Like if I were to have a baby, I could save money for their college education until they're age 18 and then we annuitize it and then it begins to pay out to them to go to college. That's another example. We're kind of on the example of an annuity as a retirement account, as like a 401k, because that's basically what it is. So you're taking money that that you're not being taxed on. You're putting it into an account and it's growing interest and it will be tax deferred. They're not going to take any taxes on it and it's going to grow, grow, grow. But it has rules about you touching that money. So you're not supposed to touch that money until you're 59 and a half um, or you hit you have a certain requirement like if you're a first time home buyer you need a down payment you could touch that money if you become like severely disabled or if you die not die yeah not die but go to go to college is another reason um disability i don't have them all memorized but there's a few different reasons why you're allowed to um, take the money out early without a penalty because if you do try to take the money out before age 59 and a half you have a penalty on that money because again, that money was supposed to be growing in there, which is why you got the tax-free benefits, which is why it got to grow tax deferred and still earn interest. So if you take that money out, if you take that money early, they're gonna penalize you for that. You will have to pay not only the taxes that you missed out on, but you will also pay an additional 20% penalty on top because you're not supposed to touch that money Hence why they've got all those, you know, tax benefits on there. So with an annuity though, you're putting money in, putting money in, putting money in, it's growing tax free. 
The government isn't taking any money out on it and it is growing interest. So it's growing bigger and bigger and bigger, faster and faster because there's no taxes on it and it is growing interest. Then you keep doing this. Let's say you start when you're 30 and you, you're putting money in, putting money in, putting money in, putting money in. And then you're now 60 years old and you're ready to retire. So for the last 30 years, you've been paying into this annuity. You've been putting money in every single month. You could, you know, maybe sometimes you throw in extra money. Sometimes you have like a kind of a minimum payment. It's uh, with an annuity, it can kind of be flexible because it's one, like you may say like when I retire, I want $2,000 a month they'll say, okay, you're gonna have to save, you know, this amount of dollars to make that happen. Like they can, those are the projections, but like if you end up putting less money into the annuity, they would simply just recalculate what your monthly payment would be. So annuities don't have to be like super set in stone as to how much money you put in. So you can be flexible with your premium payments. You can, you know, make a big payment here, small payment here, no payment here, big payment here. You know, you can be flexible with those payments or you can have a single premium annuity and a single premium annuity would be like winning the lottery so let's say you win a million dollars and you're like i, I want to make sure i never outlive that money i don't want to just blow it all i want to make sure it like stays protected and i'm you know that it pays out to me you can take that money and put it into an annuity and it will pay you like a yearly salary so that you don't blow it all um, and that you're able to keep the money you know, safe with the insurance company. And then they will make sure that you will always receive money until you die, even if your million dollars runs out. So if you live beyond, that's the beauty of an annuity. If you live beyond the annuity, it still pays out. That's, that's a pure life income, uh, that's pure life income annuity, that's amazing. That's the whole point of an annuity because no matter how much you end up saving, they will then determine what your monthly payout is based on how much you actually put in. But once you have that monthly payout, it's based on however much money was in there and how long they expect you to live. But if you live beyond that time, they're still gonna be paying you money. You can't outlive an annuity. That's what makes it so awesome. The only flip side to that is so like let's say i'm just going to use even rounded numbers here to talk about this let's say that you saved a million dollars into the annuity so you paid money in paid money in, paid money in into this annuity and you got up to a million dollars and then you do what's called annuitization and annuitization is where you flip from putting money in to taking money out so that's when you annuitize and annuitization that's a word you need to know for the exam annuitization is going from paying money into the annuity to switching to paying out. So when we think about annuities, we always kind of draw it as a triangle. This is how they represent it in your, your course materials. Is one side of the triangle is growing the money, growing the money, growing the money. That's again, that tax-free, um, you know, growing interest side of the chart that I was kind of referring to earlier. You're putting money in, putting money in, putting money in. That's the accumulation period. That's the pay in period. So I'm putting money in, putting money in, whether it's for retirement, my baby's college education, um, whatever the reason is, I, whether I win the lottery, whether I'm making small monthly payments or flexible premium payments, I'm putting money in, putting money in. That's the accumulation period, putting money in. Then in the middle of the, the triangle graph chart that we use, you have a line going right down the middle that's called annuitization, annuitization. You are turning the annuity from going money going in to now money going out. And this is where they begin to pay you. This is when you retire. This is when your baby goes to college. This is when the annuity switches from saying money in, money in, money in to now money out, money out, money out. And that's the annuitization period. That's the payout period. Once it annuitizes, it's paying out. Now, when you have the annuity on this side of the graph, when you're paying in, paying in, you can change your mind about the annuity and you can surrender it, which means give it up or turn, turn it, like say, never mind, I don't want the annuity, and you'll get your money back. You may have a surrender charge um, because they have to pay a lot of money up front to get the annuity going. 
And if they end up paying, you know, a lot of money to get your annuity set up and then you cancel too early, they're going to get their money back. So they, they have a surrender charge. The longer you go into the annuity, the longer you're paying in, the less the surrender charge gets. Like the, the older the annuity gets, the smaller the surrender charge. The newer the annuity is, the bigger the surrender charge. So, but you can still surrender. You can still give it up. You can say, never mind, I don't want this annuity. Just give me all my money back, basically, m maybe minus a little surrender fee. You will have to pay taxes if you have accumulated interest or whatever, but you could get your money back. Once you annuitize, once you go from pay in to pay out, you cannot change your mind. And that's, that's the payments are locked in. Like that's the whole thing is they will always pay you until you die, but they're set at those payments. Like that's what it's gonna be. And you cannot say, well, can you just give me double this month? Can, can I just cash it all out? Uh-uh, that's why JG Wentworth exists. If you ever hear those commercials, it's my money, I want it now. They are referring to an annuity. It's my money and it's sitting in this insurance company's account, but I can't touch it. I'm only allowed to get this much each month and that's it. So you can actually sell your annuity to someone else like JG Wentworth. He will pay you out for it and he'll sit back and he'll wait for the monthly payments because he's gonna make a lot more for waiting whereas you weren't willing to wait. He'll, like, let's say you have a million dollar annuity, he might offer you 600,000. So he'll take 400,000 of your million almost half 40 percent of your million because you want your money now that's what jg wentworth will do so anyway so i don't know the actual numbers but that's the point anyway so with an annuity you have the pay-in period the pay-in the pay-in annuitization pay out pay out pay out and it will pay out until the rest of your life now there are if you if you live beyond the money so let's say i have a million dollars left in my account, or I have a million dollars, I annuitize, I have a million dollars, and it pays out to me. And let's say that million dollars is set to pay out when I turn 80. So I turn 80, the million dollars is gone, it's already paid out to me via monthly payments for the last 20, 40 years, whatever, however long I've been retired. And then I, though, am still gonna receive a check. The insurance company will continue to send me a check every single month that I am alive for the same amount of money that they have been sending me off my $1 million, even though my account is now out of money. And that's what makes an annuity so beautiful is that you can't live beyond your money. It will, that's the insurance part of it is that they will continue to pay even if the money runs out. Now on the flip side of that, what happens if I died when they only paid out half a million? So they, they, pay, they were paying me in retirement, whatever, paying me, paying me, half a million's paid out. There's still half a million left in the annuity. The insurance company gets to keep that money. Doesn't go to the family. There's no beneficiary. The insurance company keeps that money. That's the other side of the annuity. Yes, you can get life income. And if you live beyond your money, we will continue to pay you. But if you do happen to die early, we get to keep however much money is left in your annuity. It's all ours. There's no beneficiary. Now there are two options outside of that to um, maybe per, um, to at least get either a certain amount of money or um, a certain amount of money by a certain time. So there's a peer, um, life income with period certain where it says even if grandma so let's say i have an annuity that pays out to my grandma um so the, the example is my grandpa has life insurance it's three hundred thousand dollars we want to make sure that grandma has enough money to live every month um, for the rest of her life with that three hundred thousand so we put it into an annuity so that they send her a monthly check so that the rest of the money isn't you know blown off in like gambling or something so we give grandma a set income each month with the annuity let's say that she dies before it pays out the insurance company will get to keep it but we got to make sure that our grandma had a, enough money to live each month without blowing the money and that knowing that she would have um 
you know, gotten money as long as she was alive with that life insurance. So it would make it worth it to lose it to the insurance company if we had the peace of mind knowing that grandma always had money because it was not worth losing it to gambling. And sometimes, you know, that might be a problem in your family. So anyway, with an, with an annuity though, let's say that we said, we don't wanna lose all that money if, if grandma were to die. We wanna make sure we keep some of that money in the family. So there's two ways that you can go about that. You can say, we want life income for grandma with period certain. And what that's gonna do is say that monthly checks will pay out no matter what for the next 10 years. So if grandma dies one year in, payments will still continue for nine years. If grandma dies five years in, payments will still continue for another you know, five years to someone in the family. And then at the end of 10 years, however much money is left, the insurance company gets to keep it. Or the other option is to say, life income with amount certain. And amount certain says, we want life income for grandma, yes. And then we also wanna make sure that at least, you know, $200,000 pays out to someone. So if they've paid out 100,000 and grandma dies, they still have another 100,000 to pay out. They've paid out 80,000 and grandma dies, they still have another 20,000 to pay out. So um, you can either choose time, like 10 payments must go for 10 years to someone. If the uh, benef the you know annuitant, the person receiving the money dies, so grandma would be known as the annuitant, she is the one receiving the monthly checks. Um, if there is period certain or amount certain, there would be a beneficiary if the annuitant dies in a regular annuity where it there is no period certain and there is no amount certain there is no beneficiary on the other side of the graph there's only a beneficiary in the surrender period where it's not officially um turned over <clears throat> hello hello i'm seeing people in the chat hello hello i'm trying to make sure i keep my focus <laughs> so but thank you though. Hello, Lana. Fire dog passed my test last week. That's amazing. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, now the other things that we want to know about an annuity are the ways that they pay out the money. So you have, um, like we said, life income with period certain, life income amount certain. Um, you can also do the thing about Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking about like life insurance payout as well. You can actually take a life insurance policy payout and make it into an annuity, just like I said with grandma. So that's actually one of the um, ways to start an annuity. That's a settlement option from life insurance. So when you have a life insurance payout, you can take the payout and turn it into an annuity. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, but yes. Okay, with the annuities though, okay, yes. Oh, personalized nominee. Oh, thank you. Glad the truck. Ah, <laughs> Lana, thank you. Yes, glad the trucker didn't kill you. I um, was driving from Illinois to here, Las Vegas, and I broke down in the middle of the desert in Utah, and I hitchhiked with a trucker back to Las Vegas, and then I just went and swapped out my, or went and took care of the car today. Um, but some people were for following that journey. <laughs> I felt safe the whole time. I follow vibes. I'm, I'm always taken care of. Um, and everything worked out perfectly amazing. And it was awesome. Um, I'm actually going to go live on my page tomorrow to talk about it. On my own personal page, Melissa Dillon. But anyway, that was um, a brief rundown of annuities. So remember, we have the pay in period known as the accumulation period. This is where you're putting money in to the um, um, uh, account. Then you have the annuitization where you flip from putting money into taking money out, and that's the payout period. That's after you have annuitized. You can do annuities if you have, you know, you want to do a college fund or retirement. You could do an annuity if you won the lottery. It's all about making sure that you don't outlive your money. And the beauty of the annuity is that it will pay out even if your money runs out. But on the flip side, the insurance company will keep the money if you do happen to die before the money pays out. So, all right. Send you guys all the love, all the vibes to pass your exam. You guys have an amazing evening. Let me find the finish button. <laughs>